Hi guys, how you all doing? This is MJT Reviews, bringing you the best in model kit reviews. And today I bring you part two of um, this Wellington build. So, let me just show you what I mean by that. So, here is the uh, Wellington. So, I'm just going to put the parts over here, because I'll be working with those. So there's the uh, Wellington, I'm going to place down there. So, this is how far I've come in this build. So, what I'm going to show you first, guys, is what I did the other day. So, I got to build in the cockpit area, which is absolutely fantastic. But I've got to paint out still. Um, and right now, I'm doing the guns, guys. So, just to show you. What I'm doing there is these little gun parts here, which is for the front gun, which goes here, and I'm also doing the back too. So that's where I'm up to at this present moment. And it's this little part here, which is <laughs> tiny. So what I'm going to do is just pop these away. I don't like these little horrible little parts on the um, you know the, the bits of crap that you get off the plastic when you take it off the sprue <coughs> I hate that guys because it just gets right in the way and it just looks awful so but anyway just want some glue you don't want too much just want to put some down here trail some down there and then you want to get your your part that you're putting in and you just put it there Right at the front. Same for this one. Just nice and flush. And there we have it. The little bit I've just made. And now I'm gonna have to find out where to put the guns. Um Right, yeah, so the guns just go in here somewhere. Right, so I'm going to put a bit of glue just here, a bit of glue in there. And you grab each compartment, like that, each uh, little bit, and you just put it in there. And you want to do the same <coughs> for the other part, just drop it in nicely. Make sure it all fits flush with the uh, with it. Just line the guns up. You don't want to get it too. Right, so there you are. So as you can see, I've put it all in fine, and that's how it goes. And then now I've got that part built up, so I need to get the actual dome bit now. So. <clears throat> Um, I believe it is one of these parts here. So, no, oh, right, it comes in a two part. So, you want that part there. Is that right? Yep, you want that part there. And then you want these two halves right here. And then you want the back bit. This is there. And as I told you about these parts here, you just get these away as much as you can. I just hate those parts. There you go. And if you can't remove them completely, you just get the scissors and the scissors do the job. There we go. Hardly no breakage at all. It's just a case of just getting rid of all the bits of crap on the side of the uh, 
inside of it and stuff. It's actually got some bits of flashing around. It's not too bad though. Clears up in an instant. I know I should have had um, sanding paper, but you know I'm due to get paid shortly, and I'm getting a whole load of new paints. Um, I'm getting two new, brand new model kits, but I'm leaving that a surprise, guys. You won't believe it when I tell you what I'm getting, but I'm leaving it a surprise. As I've been saying, I've been waiting for these uh, model kits for a long, long time now. And there's one of them. Then I can reveal that I've been after it ever since I've seen it on. Uh, I think it was Amazon. I've seen it on all. I think it was Amazon or it was eBay. I've seen it on one of them, and uh, I just wanted it straight away, guys. I've seen it, I wanted it, and um, I can reveal that it's Larry who brought it out, and that's the only thing I'm going to reveal about it. Um, it is by Italeri Kits. So, I see only one thing that I'm giving away. So. And I will reveal what my next part of the kit is. It is a Ravel kit. So, one's by Ravel and one's by Italeri. There you go. There you go. So, it's, that's all I'm giving away. And I hope you all like it. What um, I've got to show you all, because it's uh, well worth it in my eyes. So I've seen both kits now. I'm after both kits, and they're both massive kits, by the way. They really are big, big kits. Um, and I know that I've got a stash at home already. And over Christmas time, guys, I've got a. Um, a Junkers JU88 to build and it's a 132nd scale and believe you me guys that thing is massive I've also got a 132nd scale um, Hankel HE219 Yuhu to build and I've got the massive A400M Grizzly to build as well um, so there's a lot of kits that I have um, that I've got to build so it's all good. I don't think I'll be uh, doing them over like Christmas period and stuff like that. Um, I'll be doing a couple over Christmas if it snows, which I hope it does. And it comes down really heavy. What I like to do, guys, I know it's, you might find it a bit funny about me, but if it snows or it rains, then there's nothing better than I like to have the fire, to have the fire on, nice and warm, have something lovely to eat, Put a film on the TV and I love to just sit there and just focus and build my model while I'm doing that. I love that, guys. I love to do that through the winter time. It, there's just nothing better. Um, don't know if you all agree with me on that one, but uh, that's what I really like to do over the winter time. And uh, once I get my projects done, get my... Um, all my models built which is over the Christmas period hopefully oh, I don't think I'll get them all done that would be a miracle but uh, they're definitely going to be quite a, sub a substantial amount of models that I'm doing um, the other news is that there's some of them that I might be uh, selling off yet I'm not quite sure um, I've got some that are in my stash and you know, I just don't think I'm going to have time to build them. Um, I want to build them, but like I said, it's just... I might be interested in some markets. Um, with me uh, seeing quite a few online. Um, I am after the Airwax, which is the E3 Century. But I don't think I am going to get hold of that one. Because that kit, guys... Ugh, it's so hard to get hold of. And it's so hard to find. I've been... I've been told that it's very, very hard to get hold of, you know. Um, so, there's the front part of the gun done. Um, I'm not going to put that in yet because I'm going to have to paint it on the inside. So, that's that part done. So, I'm going to leave that out for now. Um, so, it looks like I'm going to have to... Um, there's the back gun as well to do. So, um, I don't think I'm 
I'm gonna do with the back gun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the wings. <laughs> so um I've got the wings to do now. Right, so there's one wing off. There's another wing off. Another wing and another wing. So that takes care of those. Now it's saying I need to put these in, so I need to take these off. If you can't get most of them off guys, you just do that and it'll take it off. These scissors are really old guys, so I've got plenty more scissors at home. So I only use these if I'm struggling. If I, sometimes the screws are difficult for them to get off. Right, put them over there. right so here we are again. So I'm going to have to show you what to do here. So it's the same process guys, it's the same thing, you've just got to go in gently with it. Don't want to get too much off, you just want to get some off. Just go in gently. I know I should have sand and paper. Good news guys is I'm getting quite a lot of stuff when I get paid so I can get these models done even be better than what I am doing. Right now I'm just cleaning a little bit of flash off there I mean I don't think that you're going to get it like full on if you know what I mean there's going to be like flash and there's going to be all different parts because I believe this was a matchbox matchbox old style kit um, and what's happened is they've reformed it and they've, well they've repackaged it and put it in um, a Revell box because um, I think Revell um, took over Matchbox, I think. I'm not quite sure on that. Don't, don't, don't think I am right over that because I, I, I don't think I'm right. Um, I think Ravel bought some of Matchbox kits. That's what I think's happened. Um, so whether I'm right or not about that, and I don't really have a clue. Um, but I know this kit's old. It didn't have a date on it, but. I believe I got told it was um, the 1980s or no later so <laughs> I like these old vintage kits to be honest guys I've had quite a few of them um, over the years some old vintage stuff Um I've got a constellation at home that I'm still building guys believe it or not so there's like three builds I've got on the go already so I'm quite a busy guy uh, when I get back home it's just gonna be crazy all these model kits uh, that I'm gonna have to build it's just wow <laughs> um, but it's all worth it in the end because uh, my um, my flat basically where I live my place it's like a museum everybody that comes round they call it the museum um, <laughs> you know it's, you walk in it's just the planes all over the place you know I was thinking of asking Santa Claus maybe uh, if I could have a hanger for Christmas. <laughs> you know, that's all the kids, they, they always send letters to Santa Claus. I mean, why can't the uh, the grown-ups send a grown-up version of a letter to Santa Claus? You know, I'm just saying I've been a good person over the holidays and, uh, you know, uh, I would like a hanger Santa. You could give me a hanger and I could put all my planes in and that's great. <laughs> and you know what happens then the alarm clock goes off. <laughs> yeah. We can all dream. We can all wish for things that we want. Um you know. So there we are. So I think these 
the pads go together, don't they, like that? I think that's what it's saying. If they go together like that, so I'm just, go, just gonna take as much as I can away from here, guys, just as much as I can. Because it does have some flash around it. So I'm just trying to take away as much flash of the kit that I can. Because you just don't want to get it in the way, you know what I mean? It's like when you, when you come to paint it, you know, you've got the horrible flash in the way, it just it won't look good. And these little bits on here, I hate them. But they're part of the sprue, aren't they? So as soon as you remove them, it looks great. Looks fantastic. So basically what it's saying is I need to put some glue around here. So just dot some around here. And then get one of these. I think it's that one, I think it's one put it together just stick it down and I think it goes into one of the uh, things here yeah it goes down here guys I think I don't know if I'm right about that hang on a minute yeah it wants to go in there so you end up with a nice wheel well inside. So <laughs> now we're gonna just stick some down here, go down here, go down there. Well, because you want a nice stick, you don't want it to just, you know, you want it to be nice, nice set, nice in place. So just put it in place, and that make sure it's nice and secure. And we just leave that there. And you just want to do the same with the other one, so not too much glue. Just a bit on there. You don't want to overload it. And then you just do the same thing, you just stick that down there. Now what's happened here is it's it needs bending a little bit. So I've just bent it there so it will go in place properly. Go and you just want to do the same thing with this. So you put some glue down, make sure you've got it nice and firm, nice and firmly put down, and just pop it in place there. Same thing, same process. Right, and that's that. So, and after I've done that, I need to put the wing tops on. So, we'll start with this one, and it's just a case of going around with it. Same process. Don't put too much on. Just go around the whole, the whole part of the wing. Follow up the process. Go straight around. Now you want quite a bit on these. Just just so it sticks. Not too much on there. And then there we have it. And then we put that on the top. And make sure it's all secured in. And just grab it tightly in place like that because you, you want it to have a firm stick you want it to stick down properly you don't want it to not stick so there we are so there's one part of the wing 
same process on the second part. Um, got a little bit of flash there, I just saw it. Not good. You can see these here. Make sure you remove these. Yeah, see we're just done. I've removed that part there because it just gets in the way. And just dab some glue down, not too much. Yep. Now when you get down with this pit, that's all you do. And then pop it in there make sure it's all flush all nicely set down in place if you've got any excess glue just wipe it off make sure it's all nicely set down same thing there and there's another part of the wing so there's the uh, two wings, and I believe the gunner, I believe that goes in there somewhere, down there, or is this the back one, I'm not sure, I think this is the back one, uh, we'll soon see which one that one goes in, so, and then I've got to put it on the inside. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see what this looks like. If it closes up perfect, then that's good. Right, so just checking if it's getting. It's got a good close up, so as you can see, it's uh, quite all right on that way. And just to make sure that it's going to go in nice, um, just make sure it's got a nice uh, fit. Yep. Yeah. So, well, it's not bad that, it's alright. So, you do get quite a decent size for the aircraft. I mean, this would make a great um, diorama piece. Um, which I think that's what I'm aiming for. Um, to do a diorama out of it. Um, and there's a part down here, guys, where it has lines. And that's where I'm going to do the bomb bay. Because I'm going to get one of those special model saws. It's like a little saw. I'm going to cut away the plastic. And um, I'm going to make a bomb bear out of it. So that's what uh, I'm looking forward to doing for you guys. So this was model um, build up part 2 of the uh, Wellington. Um, the next part that I do will be the painting um, of the inside. And the painting of the the gun turret thing, and then I'll be getting putting on the tail flaps and putting on some other parts. So I'd like to personally thank you all for watching um, this review of the Vickers Wellington um, Mark II. It's a very nice plane. Um, I love the build. The build is going fantastic, guys. Um, couldn't really ask uh, for any more than that, to be honest. Um, and uh, I'm going to be doing the next part probably uh, tonight maybe um, part 3 I'll probably do tonight or maybe tomorrow um, I'm not quite sure yet but uh, I'd like to personally thank you all for watching uh, this review um, and sticking around as much as you have guys because it really does mean a lot to me um, I can't wait to do those other reviews for you um, those big kits are going to be such a big surprise and I hope you're all going to love the video because it's going to take me a long time to build both of the kits. Um, and over the Christmas period guys stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more builds and I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be building over uh, the Christmas period as well. Um, so anyway, please like, share and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and you're guaranteed I'll follow you back. And... Um, if you've got any questions, just hit me up in the link below and I'll get back to you. And um, I hope you all have a brilliant, fantastic day. Um, because it's nice and sunny outside. And I think I'm going to finish off my mum's garden because I've got a really big surprise for her when she gets back. Um,
because um, I've done quite a few things in the garden and put some solar lights in and stuff like that. So that should be really good for her for when she returns. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and take care of yourselves. Goodbye. See you later, guys.